back then they napped on me Now they all just act on me Now I'm hot, they all on me Put a lot of Snapchat 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 That's on me I ain't got no Snapchat, homie I think it's too personal That's what I got Twitter for Tonight, police say an underage girl was kidnapped and raped by a man she met on Snapchat. We hear so much about the dangers of social media. Snapchat is a camera. No, not that kind of camera. You can capture photo or video snaps and share them with friends. Pick. Or not to send a pick. That's the question. Some are calling the new Snap Map exciting. Others a little unnerved. They don't necessarily want all of their friends or all of their kids' friends to know where they are. I don't know. Let's see what's going on. Snapchat introduced Snap Map last week. It's an opt-in function that lets people share their locations with friends or even strangers on a map. All those little characters represent real people and exactly where they are. Part of my concern with that is that a lot of times kids are sitting at home using their phones. So if it's tracking them, everybody's going to know where they live. Nowadays, people like to add people they don't even know on Snapchat and if they can find your location, they could do something to you. I mean, that could be a danger. And fans say the feature might go a little far. It gets a little creepy because you can see exactly what someone's doing. So if they're listening to music, they have their headphones in, they're going to have headphones on their head. If they're driving in the car, they're going to be in the car. With the Snap Map, you can see snaps from across the world, or even from the diner right down the street. To open the map, just pinch your fingers like you're zooming out. Tap a hot spot on the map to view snaps that our community has submitted from that area. You can always keep up on big events as they unfold, or see where your friends are if they've chosen to share their location with you. If you have the app on your phone, it's live. You don't have to be using it. And you open this map up, and I can see where all my friends are at. If my friends are all at a party and I was invited, I'm definitely going to feel left out. That's a lot of drama. It creates a lot of drama just to be like, hey, you guys are hanging out without me. Let's see where everybody's at today. Is it over by the pizza place, huh? Hello? Hey man, do you think you could pick me up a large pepperoni? I'm nowhere near a pizza place. Well, Snapchat map says otherwise. <sighs> do you want to excuse that? I checked your location and I found you and I came here. You just said, you do always add strangers? You don't? Wanna hang out and play? No. Why not? You added me as a friend. No. I thought we were friends. Predators know Snapchat is a popular app for middle and high school kids. They also know it can be tough for law enforcement to track them. And for one girl, an interaction online led to five days of horror. Police arrested a 24-year-old man for aggravated kidnapping and aggravated sexual assault of a child. Like these two Wisconsin men convicted of federal child pornography charges, both use Snapchat. An investigation found Ricky Olson even created fake accounts to contact a 12-year-old. 